Webflow for your website and ConvertKit for your email marketing. I'll show you how to integrate them together in this quick video. All right, so I'm in Webflow and the first thing you'll need to do is build a form. So here's a simple one where I'm just asking people to give me their email address and then when they click sign up, that will go into ConvertKit. They will become a subscriber. So in ConvertKit, I want to create a similar form. So if you go to landing pages and forms, and here I already created one, you'll see that it's basically the same thing. It's just asking for email address. And that's all you need. So now let's go back to Webflow where it says the text field for email. Just go to the input settings here and you see where it says name. We need to change that. So ConvertKit says, please change it to email underscore address. And then that's it. And we're almost there. Now the next thing we need to do, and this is the most complex, is we need to take this number right here. This is the unique ID for this particular form that I created. We need to copy it. And there's a, there's a link, there's a URL that ConvertKit provides. And this is their demo one. And basically what you need to do is just replace this with your unique ID. You take this and you copy it. You go back to Webflow and on the button itself, you want to paste it right here where it says actions and change this to post if it wasn't post already. And that's it. Now all you have to do is publish the all you have to do is publish and it should be ready to go. So let's go to the site. I'll go to this page. I'll just put in my email address, sign up. And here you can say, you can see that's already sending me an email uh, confirmation and see how it's powered by ConvertKit. So this page you can change, but more or less that's the first steps of getting the Webflow and ConvertKit integrated with one another. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.